Okay, today I'm going to use a very quick way to explain okay, how to find the distance for Earth. Okay, this is from Modern Max last second chapter. Okay, because most of the students do like this chapter, so I'm going to explain how can you find the distance for the Earth. Okay, okay. Normally, if you want to find the distance for Earth. Uh, you have to decide whether the distance you want to find is for longitude or for latitudes. Okay, so he got he got different is you want to find is for longitudes or latitudes. Okay, so let's say if you want to find the distance for longitudes okay what is the meaning by longitudes i say longitude means actually the flight is moving from east to west or from west to east so i just do a remark here longitude means he will from east to west or he from west to east okay this one is means they have the flight is flying on Longitude. So, for latitudes, mean actually you are moving from north to south, or from south to north. Okay, this one is for latitudes. Okay, okay. Now, I will explain two formula here. Okay, first is if you want to find the distance for longitude, so the formula will be okay. This distance, I write a short form. For D here, okay, D stand for distance, will equal to angle. This is angle in degree, okay, multiple 60, and then we multiple cos alpha. Okay, distance will equal to angle multiple 60, multiple cos alpha for long for longitudes. If for latitudes. The distance will equal to angle multiple 60 only. So, what the di between difference for longitudes and latitudes is the longitude you have to multiple cos alpha. Okay, but most of you are very confused. Where do you get alpha? Okay, so maybe I can give a okay example for longitude. Okay, let's say you got two okay, you got two location here. Location A and location B. Okay, let's say this one is uh okay, this one is for is 48 north. This one is also 48 north. And then okay, 48 north. Okay, so this one will be 20 east. This one will be 60 west. Okay. So from these two locations, actually you can easily know that they are flying in longitudes because they have the same latitude. So impossible they are flying for latitude. So now they are flying for longitudes. Okay. So in order to find the angle, okay, when you see okay, Okay, listen here this is very important in order to find the angle you when you see one is east one is west then you use 20 plus 60 okay okay here do some remark for angle if you see like okay for example 20 e and the other one the other one is 60 west okay when you see one here is e another one here is w mean one is east and one is west May means they are different direction okay then you can straight away do the angle by using 20 plus 60 20 angle plus 60 angle okay okay this is just this is just arrow this is not minus okay but then when you see both is like okay 20 west 
Okay, 20 west, maybe to 60 west. Or 20 E to 60 E. Okay, mean both of them have the same, same direction, same west and same east, then you use the bigger value minus the smaller value. So this one is 60 minus 20. Yeah, so the angle on between this one is obviously is 40. Angle for, from 20E to 60W will be 80. Okay, this is the way. When you see one east, one west, you just plus. When you see both also, also is the same west or same E, you use the bigger value minus the small, smaller one. Okay, this is like some sort of like formula. Actually, if you understand the concept, you can easily get the idea why I will write like that. Okay, so come back to this question. So this one, the angle here is 20E to 60W. So the angle on between will be 80. So distance will equal to 80 multiple 60 multiple cos alpha. Cos alpha here will be the latitudes for both of the location. The latitude value for both of the location will be 48 because both of them will lie on the lattices of 48. So cos alpha, you have to write cos 48 because both of them at 48. Then you just press the calculator, 60 multiple 80 multiple cos 48. So 60 multiple 80, we got 4,800 multiple again cos 48. So we have got the distance will equal to 3, 2, 1, 1 point 83 nautical mile. Remember, I say nautical mile is something like km. It means it's a very important unit for Earth. Okay, this is the alpha. Alpha is both of them fall in the same latitude. This is what we call alpha. So the same thing for latitudes is very easy. So maybe I give an example here for latitude. Let's say we got location C and D. Okay, both of them also as 20 E. So obviously they are impossible to fry on the 20 E. Okay, impossible for them to fry in the longitude. So let's say this one I put 70 north. And then this one will be 10 north. Okay, I want to find distance from C to D. From C to D, obviously they are flying on latitude. So here will be distance will equal to angle. Okay, angle, both of them also have the same north. When you say both of them is north also, means you use 70 minus 10, you have got the angle is 60 multiple 60. So therefore, your answer will be 3,600 nautical mile. Okay. Got the basic idea how to find distance. So because why I teach this one, because most of the time in your paper two, uh, the, the question will not draw out the whole diagram for you. Maybe he will just will give you some of the information. So actually you can easily you easily get get the angle and and just get the distance from the information given on your question. So maybe okay, maybe I just give you more example here to make you understand more. Okay. Okay, let's say given here R is forty eight north and let's say sixty is okay maybe in the in the question he say okay p is p is due south of r okay he said p is due south of r uh, in the 
4,800 nautical mile. So and then he asked you to find find the location of P. Okay, ask you to find the location of P. Okay, so for this kind of question, okay, you have to understand what is the meaning by P is due south of R. Means actually, if P, if R is here, okay, I use other color for the easy to see. So if R is here, P is due south of R. So P will be somewhere is like south direction of R and then he say from R to P actually you will have 4,800 nautical mile so so if you want to find locations of P so you have to you have to find how many angle here okay in order to find how many angle here the formula okay now they are moving south and north so obviously they are moving for latitude so let's say distance will equal to angle multiple 60 distance here is 4800 and then we want to find angle multiple 60 so we can find angle by using this formula so angle will equal to 4800 divided by 60 therefore we got the angle is we got the angle will be 80 means what if you got 80 mean actually the angle on between R and P will be 80 okay so now you have to see the latitudes of R R is 48 so he moving 80 angle to bottom means he moving 80 angle to south so latitudes of p will be 80 minus 48 and then because he more than 48 already so he will reach the equator and then go down so it will be south okay since he say r is due south of p means both of them will have the same longitude 60e Therefore, location of P will be okay. This one minus this one, we will got 32 S and 60 E. Okay, I hope this video will give you better ideas on how to find the distance for Earth. Thanks for watching.